This evening we're going to cover logarithmic growth. Logarithms can be used for many different things, specifically whenever something grows or decays at an exponential rate. Today we're going to look at a growth example. Specifically, we're going to take a sample size population. So we can imagine all these little slashes are people. And we're going to say that that population doubles every two years. So it times zero, your population is simply going to be denoted as P naught or your initial population. At time equal to two years, you will have two P naught. At four years, you'll have four P naught. At six years, you'll have eight P naught. At eight years, you'll have 16 times your initial population. So it's the exponential growth. So we're actually going to search and find the time that it takes for the population to triple. So just looking at this, we know that it's sometime in between two and four years. Time to triple. Okay. But how are we going to mathematically prove this? Well, Based on our exponential growth, we know it's not going to be exactly in between two and four years. So we know it's not going to be the three-year point. However, there is a way to do this, and that's by using logarithms. The standard form for growth for a logarithm is you'll have a constant as a function of time is equal to the initial amount of that constant at time equals zero, denoted by that a naught, times e to the lambda t. All right, lambda is simply known as your growth constant. That's a code, it's a, it's a number that describes your exponential growth. Okay, so how can we determine this? How can we apply this to our problem? Well, we're going to do it this way. We have some information already. We know that at time zero, You know that P of time zero equals P naught and P at two years equals two P naught. So therefore we can automatically know both these equations or set it equal to, uh, we can take this, this equation, this relationship and drop it into this form and solve for our lambda. So that's what we're gonna do. So P of T it's going to be equal to, so p at any time, it's going to be equal to p naught e to the lambda t. Well, we know what happens at t equals two years. So you get p of two years equals p naught times e to the lambda times two. Well, we know p of two years happens to be two times p naught, which equals p naught e to the lambda 2. That will cancel out. Therefore we have 2 equal to e to the 2 lambda. Now, how do we deal with this? Well, in order to bring down uh, an exponential from the term e, or any case, we'll actually use logarithm with that base. In this case, a logarithm that's base e is the natural log. So we're going to take the natural log of both sides and that'll look something like this. The so natural log of 2 equals the natural log of e to the 2 lambda. Well, the natural log of e to the 2 lambda is simply 2 lambda. Therefore, lambda equals the natural log of 2 over 2. So, now we're trying to find P of T equal to 3 P naught. So, 3 P naught 
it's going to equal P naught times E to the lambda T. However, we know that lambda is equal to the natural log of 2 over 2. Therefore, we can substitute this in and solve for T. So P naught E natural log of 2 over 2 times T. Okay, once again, our P naughts will cancel out, so you get 3 equals E to the natural log of 2 over 2 times T. Use the same method as we had did up here. By taking the natural log of both sides in order to bring the exponential down, that'll give us the natural log of 3 equals the natural log of E the natural log of 2 over 2 times t. Well, these two items will cancel out, so the natural log of 3 equals the natural log of 2 over 2 times t. Now we can just simply solve for t. So we'll take multiply the natural log of 3 by 2 which we'll get rid of that. So you have 2 natural log of 3 equals t times the natural log of 2 divided by the natural log of 2 on both sides. So t, the time for our population to triple, is going to be equal to 2 times the natural log of 3 over the natural log of 2. You plug that into your calculator. That equals 3.17 years. Ah.